Good morning, YouTube. It's Stephanie, and I'm here for the Flora, Fauna, and Fruit collaboration with Poet Spice. Today is our first day showing our projects. Last week, we shared with you guys our uh, kits that we were going to use. So, most of my products I use are Fun Stamper's Journey, as I showed in my video. So, I made two projects for this week. Um, I used this Just Because stamp from this Just Because set from Fun Stamper's Journey. Out of the embroidered rose collection, I use this rose right here. I also use this beautiful paper, and I used our whipped cream card stock. Now, along with those items, I used our embossing powder, and this is our gold and our black embossing powder. And our embossing powder powder is a detailed embossing powder, and you'll see that on my tag. I also used our black licorice. Uh, True Color Fusion ink and our clear pigment ink. Our inks are a hybrid ink, so it's dye and pigment together. So here's my tag, and if you'll notice, I want you to see all the detail that our embossing powder picks up. So I embossed that, popped it up with uh, dots, went around the edges with the black, and here I embossed the Just Because. And I also put some flat back gold pearls on there. I used a black tag to start. I just thought it turned out beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. So that's my first project. Now, my second project, I actually made a card. I used Wink of Stella. And we're going to do a tutorial video or process video. To make one of these cards, I use this Spellbinders Happy Birthday die. Love my dies. I use this Fun Stamper's Journey embossing folder, and it's called Love Letters. And you'll see this is a rose here and a rose down here, but it turned out beautiful. I use this pretty amethyst paper. Love. This is my favorite color. So I also used some of my, used some of my Inca Golds. So I use Hortense Champagne and green yellow and we're going to use those in our process video today and I also used our whipped cream card stock so here's my card and I thought it turned out beautifully you can see the shimmer from the Inca Gold now I colored everything you see with the Inca Golds and we're going to do that I also here's my happy birthday and I don't know if you can tell but I did put Wink of Stella on the actual words and I used some organza ribbon and made a bow and I put some bling on it. I thought that turned out beautiful and I matted and layered the inside to match. So we're going to make a card similar to this one. And we're just going to use um, different colors. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And we'll get started. It's very quick and it's very simple. Okay. So here's my card base. I've already matted and layered the inside. And here's my matte and layering for the outside. So whipped cream card stock. This is our uh, lemon splash. I'm sorry, lemon drop card stock. And we're going to use our embossing folder called Love Letters. We're going to use our Easy Glide when it's time to adhere it. This stuff is the best. And when they say easy glide, they mean easy glide. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to emboss our top layer. Okay, now if you'll notice, you see the roses. So you want to line it up where you want the roses to show on your paper. So we have a rose here, another flower here, and another flower here. So I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to use my Big Shot today. And I'm not going to use, I'm going to use one plate, my magnetic, magnetic plate. I'm going to use a shim, which is this, and the top plate. And we're just going to run it on through. If you see my embossing folders here. And we're going to run it through our Big Shot. And I'm doing this for some people who may not know how to emboss. It's very simple. That's all you do.
and when you take it out there it is and it's all done for you so our embossing is done now we can move this out of the way and I have my handicraft mat here now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our Inca Golds and this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color my flowers right here well we'll color them the same way we did before so we have some amethyst and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the mat you don't need very much when you're doing this okay and we're going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Okay. And then we're just going to, I'm going to zoom you in just a hair. If I can find my zoom. And we're just going to color. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we'll get a little bit more. And it's just that simple and just that quick. See? Flower is now colored. And we're going to do the same thing for this flower up here. Sorry, I'm out of... How about we do it this way? We're just coloring in our flower. If you can see that right there. And if you just add plain water, it'll help you to move the color that you already have around. And then we're going to do this flower here. And it just makes everything just start to stand up on your paper. And then there's one more up here in the corner. So there you have it. Flowers colored matter of seconds okay so now we're done with that color and we're gonna get our green to do our leaves and our stalks and I'm just gonna use just a very small very 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 little of the green and I'm just gonna use a different finger because I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can we're gonna add a little bit of water and we're going to color our leaves and the stalk. There you go. See the leaf? Now we have one more here. And it's okay if the colors mix, it's fine. And I think that's all of our leaves and stalks. See? quick coloring and all of this will wipe up very very easily with water and a towel and we'll use our third finger for our champagne color and a little bit of water I'm real technical you guys with my tools as you can see and this really is to just give it and you can go right on there with some water and you'll pick up color right on your finger and you just color it doesn't take long at all and it dries very very quickly and it makes for an absolutely beautiful card and if you have you don't have enough color you can add more if it's too intense in an area you can just add more water and it will help to move the color around for you let me see if I can zoom us back out a little bit where's my zoom let's see there we go. 
and our our coloring is just about done. And there you have it. And if you want more color, you just put your hand in the ink of gold some more. And you'll be all set. Please excuse my phone ringing. Okay, there you have it. And now we can close up all of our ink of gold because they will dry out on you. And we can put our little card together. I'm just cleaning up my mat a little bit. up great and as for my fingers I can do the same thing ink of gold is water soluble so all you need is some water I didn't even get up to get soap see all right so let's just do just put the rest of this card together and all I'm going to do is put put our uh, layers together. So this is the layer that we just did. As you can tell, our Easy Glide is very easy. going to sit it right on top of this layer. Wait a minute. It's not all the way together. There we go. And then we'll put this layer. I'm not even putting any ribbon because I just want to give you guys an idea of how to do it. You don't have to do it exactly as I've done mine. And it doesn't have to be a birthday card. It can be whatever kind of card you like. And it's just that quick. And there you have it beautiful card and you have your inside and your outside are now done hopefully you have enjoyed this video if so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and thank you for watching there are our two cards thank you for watching and have a wonderful wonderful weekend check out all the ladies who are participating their information is listed down in the description box below.